Hey everybody, it's Matt here, and welcome to the very first episode of Matt Plays Brink. Now if you don't know what Brink is, it's about two months old, maybe three months, of a game made by Bethesda Game Studios, along with Splash Damage. And it's a team-based, cerebral, first-person shooter with parkour aspects with the um, smart engine, which is smooth, smooth movement across random terrain. And it's pretty cool. I'll show it to you. So let's just get started. I already have a character here, as you can see. He's level 16 because I've, uh, I've played a little bit. But for video purposes, we're going to make a new one. 40 years ago, we started building the Ark. Back then, it was an experiment, a dream, a self-sustaining city of the future. But then the seas rose. We were forced to relocate, but still our floating ark became a refuge for tens of thousands. To maintain order, the ark was divided. And now we're out of time. The Ark is wearing out. No new ship or plane has been seen in 20 years. The new guests live in slums. Disease, thirst. Some have formed a resistance that vows to seize power and search for life outside the Ark. Ark's security force says we must have order to survive. So will you save the Ark or escape it? Well. The Ark seems like a pretty cool place, so I want to save it. I'm going to go with the security forces. You ordered the perfect Sir. come here. You will resolve Sir, the situation I, I, peacefully and quell its unrest without recourse to unnecessary Sir, violence. I, Lethal force is a last, not a first order. Any and all civilian casualties will result in your immediate dismissal. Not barbarians, Captain Makuena. Of all people should remember that. After today's kidnapping, the Bowser have finally authorized the use of deadly force. Be very clear on this, Captain, ladies. on deck! Men, for the Ark to survive, we must have order. We must save the Ark! We must save the Ark! I agree, Captain Makawena, we should save the Ark. Alright, so now we're in the character creation menu, and so the first thing we're going to change is our archetype. Archetype, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> so I'll show you all the available faces slash body look thingies. Alright, so I think I want to go with, um, the look, because I was the psycho last time, so, and those are the two I like the best. I prepared an MG nest. Has double health command. Ah! Bring his changing. Sorry. I'll have a rebel. Let's do Ryan McCluskey. Yes. Alright, now we're going to customize him even more. Start with the hair and headgear. Um, let's make it like an awesome looking cowboy dude. Alright, so, um, another thing about this is the tattoos and scars, this menu that I'm in right now. Once you pick something, it's permanent. You can never change it unless you make a new character, so... Be wary of what you choose. I like the surgical staples. Some of them you can't even see. I kind of like the surgical staples. They look cool while they're kind of subtle at the same time. Let's do nothing, because I want some face paint. Oh, here 
already did that. I'll show you some of these things though. It's the bug. Probably recognize that if you've seen the trailer. Um Alright, so that's good for our head. Alright, now let's do the jacket. The reason I have so much of this stuff already unlocked is because of my other character. You unlock it as you level up. And I got to keep it. The only thing I don't keep is my level, so... Kind of like the unit. Alrighty, well, I think that about does it for our character, so <laughs> let's get started. Oh wait, no, I have to do my weapons. So there's a wide selection of weapons you have available. Pretty big arsenal. It gets even bigger if you... Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you. Um, There's also body types, which I have not unlocked on this character yet. Heavy is hard to kill. They move slow and can't really parkour very well. Medium is in the middle of light and heavy, and light is really jumpy, but they're very fragile, but they can parkour places other body types can't, so all classes have their advantages and disadvantages, but I like to stay kind of neutral with both, so I pick medium. Alright, now weapons. Um, the medium can use almost all the weapons. The light can only use the light weapons, it can't use all of these. And the heavy can use all weapons including miniguns, which is pretty cool, but... Anyways, I like the Gerund AR. So also there's, once you select a weapon, you can choose different attachments you unlock from playing challenges, and I already unlocked all of them, so... But um, I could show you guys the challenges later. So we have silencers here, but I don't really like silencers, because... I don't need them. There's scopes, iron sights, and red dot sights, and I like this one. Magazine, I do the AR drum because it has the biggest capacity, even though it's hardest to reload. And I like the front grip for the front grip over everything else because it keeps my weapon stable so it doesn't go all over the place when I'm shooting. Alright, so I think that about does it for the weapon. So we're gonna select that and for our secondary, hopefully. No, it's not. Or wait. I think we should do... Let's do the cross. SMG. Okay, so front attachment, we don't want silencers. Top attachment, deflex. Bottom attachment, front grip, because SMGs can go a little crazy. Magazine SMG drum. And that should be good. For now. So, got our weapons, and let's see what we have to do now. Preferred class soldier. Oh yeah, there's also different classes, which is this game reminds me a lot of Team Fortress 2 because if you look the classes are all all these classes are in Team Fortress 2. And the body types add two more. Even though you can be any one of these classes with any body type. But um so the medic can revive people when you when they go down. The operative can disguise as dead enemies and do lots of other, well. All these classes can do lots of things, but the basis that they do is what I'm telling you now. The soldier can supply, um, give ammo packs to other people, and the engineer can buff people's guns as well as um, set up sentries like turrets. So oh, also the medic can buff people's health. Health. So. Everything's good. So next episode, we will jump in and start playing. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Matt, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.